parting with my friends. It's hard. But for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. And the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, the loss became a threshold between the Order and my own life. Between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And, like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt that the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind were just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. A lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. <laughs> Yet, every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. One step at a time, slowly but steadily, no matter the obstacles on the way. Sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. One day, but not here, not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. Привет, Владивосток.
Ha, I could use this. Lost you idiot! Watch out for him. don't get hit! Don't fucking kill him! Shoot his legs if you mind! Come out with your hands above your head! What else would you have me do? I guess that's all! I'm not greedy! Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, we ain't gonna kill you! The kingpin wants you alive! And how do you know what he wants? I think we've got all of them! Thanks for your help! Come up here and let's talk! All right! Take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now! All right. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Careful over here. It's a long fall. You don't want to join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. What's the hold up? Come over here! Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Seriously? Talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu! Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The Batwing! Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me.
<sighs> uh, much better. Come and take it! You're coming. With us! Take him alive! Take this! Fuck off! Go to hell! And stay down! I'll fucking kill you all! Rev up and head to the sub! So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? 
Nah, he got spooked by some small fries. We know the guy was with him, though. Turns out the guy's an American. <laughs> Please, boss. He swore like you on a bad day. Oh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, William. Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> wow. Just... wow. Yeah, I have trouble believing it myself. Yes, boss. Well, didn't we make a splash? Now tell me, who of us knew he was an American all along, eh? <laughs> wow. Impressive, huh? It's all ours. Impressive. It's the boss. Is that him? Yeah, it's me! Well, hello there! Why are you still tied up? Huh? I love it! me let's talk so where did you want to go san diego one way california <laughs> oh truly a heaven on earth uh, save for the traffic in la of course that was hell <clears throat> look man uh, remind me what was the name of your baseball team padres right oh our team used to play them often i'm from seattle you know <sighs> mariners if you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. By the way, Sam, this is Clint, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the Applied Force Department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Очень приятно, Клим. Клим's boys couldn't invite you here at a better time. The doctor flexed the wind somewhat, but still, just look at that. Yeah, had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though wait, uh, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? 
Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. Quite a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent, we had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. So you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than can't, Tom. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I am in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? I'll drink my own. I don't really get that fancy stuff, though. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. <laughs> To our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Got a show. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? I'd been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. Klim handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, our enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Klim's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, he did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. Uh, that's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Uh, Klim found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then, we learned that the sub was operational all along, and the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How is he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman, just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force, a new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything and accept our power. Mm. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? 
Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah. A lot of things starting to make sense now. Great. Then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Deal? Deal. Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. Oh, <laughs> that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part. The map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Spasibo, Klim. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll of keep course. Just leave her. Just leave her. Bye. Why? Why what? Why did you not let me send my boys with him? They could catch the old goat cleanly and quietly. Oh, enough. I know you're cleanly and quietly. Your boys fucked up for good when they let him get away. The captain himself I could forgive. We're keeping tabs on him. But where's the EXO? The others? We're looking. Looking. You've been looking for almost a year now. And now the captain is our only chance. Don't you see? I just can't trust your boys with it. Oh, but you can trust this passerby. He's an American. So what? I don't know him. You don't know him either. But I do. He survived in Moscow. He survived there, and then he came here. Well, if you say so. I certainly do. And enough of this. Howdy, Uncle Sam! You're expected at the shooting range. Boss's orders. It's that way. Cross the bridge. Hi, American. Okay, I think I got this. Time to check ignition. This is ground control to Major Tom. I've been expecting you. My name's Daniela. I'm Tom's gunsmith. The boss wants you geared up ASAP, Sam, so I'll cut straight to the chase. First, your universal detector. There are mines all over the ruins, so never leave home without it. It can also detect spare parts, weapons, lots of things, actually. Nice. Indeed. Now, your new rifle. This looks familiar, but different. It's a local make, optimized for our home brand of incendiary ammo. It accepts regular ball all right, just not the standard mags. Don't want our idiots ruining their old rifles with the hot stuff. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Ah, glad to hear that. 
I guess you're all set now. You can test it here. My assistant has a couple of mags ready. This one should not just feel familiar, it's the real McCoy. A 45 automatic, straight from Tom's premium stock. We have sold quite a few of its sales, but this one's been fine-tuned to the max and hasn't seen a day of use it's shaped up. So it won't fail no matter what. Here's your ammo. Good luck. Don't mind if I do. Try to hit all the targets. Oh, I always wanted to see a real Nice. I'm impressed. Look, I can appreciate art of shooting like nobody else here. Thanks for the show. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, that was truly amazing. Here's your prize. All in a day's work. Well, I won't be holding you any longer. Good luck, Sam. See you around. get geared up weapons zeroed in and all that stuff yep everything's fine great good luck to you then American guest, how do you do? I heard you saw the captain. How is he? Don't answer. I know it's tough for him. If you see him again, tell him. Tell him we haven't forgotten a thing he's done for us. And we're ready to follow him anywhere. We're still checking. But yes, there's definitely some missing. Any suspects? Yeah. So, you don't like Tom's new direction? Look, I know you're trying to provoke me, but I'm past caring now, so I'll just tell you straight. I don't like Tom and his business shtick, but that's not what's killing me. It's the way he took over. It's the way he got rid of the captain and all the officers. And it's Klim and his goons that I hate. I also think Captain was right. Nukes mustn't be used no matter what. And it's good that the sub's out of fuel. <laughs> you can run to Klim now and have his flunkies drag me away to his torture chamber. There, I said it. Now piss off. You don't have to shout like that. I'm not going to report you or anything. <sighs> Damn. I still can't believe we got one more American here. Uh, Sorry, none of us really expected to see any American save so, the Tom. So, how's it going? Any progress? No dice. The fucker's got a good look. Sapirto. No matter. We'll get him soon enough. 
But I didn't steal anything! Yeah, right! I like your day! Hello again, American. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Great. The boss told us to find your nice boat, and here she is. <laughs> Looks nice enough. She handles well, too. Just stay with her. Put the stick on a car, and you'll be fine. We will install the compass. Yeah, don't leave it unattended, though. It's got pure spirit inside. Also, mind the inertia. At full speed, it takes some time to stop, even if you switch to reverse. And please, bring her back in one piece. Yeah, she has a lot of sentimental value for you. <laughs> Indeed, she does. Well, she's here.